Welcome back everyone. So I haven't made a tutorial yet on how to sign up to Midjourney and get started using the AI program to generate awesome images. So this is that tutorial. I'm going to show you how to sign up to Midjourney and how to get started using it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually not going to go to midjourney.com. We're going to go to Discord. We're going to create a um, a Discord account first because Midjourney runs within the Discord environment and there's a lot of benefits to that. Um, for one is that it's available virtually anywhere you have an internet connection. So on your mobile device, um, obviously your laptop, anything with an internet connection um, that can run a browser can run Midjourney. Um, so okay, so we're gonna First, sign up. So we click on the register. We'll put in an email. Um, uh, we'll create a username and a password. Uh, date of birth. This is uh, not my real birthday, guys, so, <laughs> yeah, it's not far off, though, and continue, and you got to verify that you're not a robot, all right, and voila, we have a uh, Discord account, so let's finish the setup. Um, Let's see, I'll just create my own. And that's good enough, create. And not now, uh, skip, take me to my server. Okay, so here we have the, the Discord um, environment and we first gotta uh, verify the email. So let's do that. Verify email. And that's done. Nope, nope, do not open that. Okay, so I was trying to open the Discord app on my um, laptop here and I do not want it to do that. So the email has been verified and we can see we got rid of that notification there. So next, let's go over to Midjourney and here we're going to click uh, join the beta. Okay, so here we go. We're going to accept the invite. Once again, prove that you're human. Accept the invite. Uh, come on. Okay. Uh, containing a desert. All right. So here we go. Um, so once you've proved that. Um, you're not a robot, <laughs> you will uh, be redi redirected to Discord where you will see this mid-journey uh, server. It's the one with the little boat floating on water. So we're going to click on that. And then it takes you to the mid-journey environment here. Um, you can see what people are creating. If you go over to the left here, you can see different, um, I don't know if they call them rooms or, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can join like the newcomers room, um, so newbie. And yeah, you can see what everyone is creating. You can interact with them. Um, 
you can make variations of this if you wanted you can upscale it and yeah so to get started um, you're gonna come down to this prompt and just keep in mind that everyone can see what you're creating here um, and you can see what everyone is creating it's a community event um, if you don't like that um, you can pay to have all of your generations be private and in a second I'm going to show you how to get out of this environment where it's a bit noisy at the moment and your stuff will likely get lost um, and you know direct, uh, interact with the Midjourney bot directly but first let's generate our first image so I'm gonna say backslash imagine and click on the prompt and I'm just gonna say, I don't know, mushrooms in a forest. That should do it. Hit enter. Oh, apparently I didn't accept their uh, terms of service. So let's click accept. And all right, we will try that again. And you can see it here. So it says wait in to start. And there we go. It's um it's starting. And see what I'm talking about? It just gets lost and then you gotta refine it. Here we go. But there we go, it created some beautiful mushrooms in a forest. Um, and from here we can choose to, um, you know, upscale whichever one we want. So let's say we wanted uh, number two, and it goes from one, two, three, four. So you one, you two, you three, and you four. So I'm gonna select you two, and it should highlight blue when it's when you've. Uh, Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that has started somewhere. Oh, I think it also did do my first one, which is here. Okay, so it's upscaling. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, we have the image here and from here we can just click on it and then say open in browser and from here we can save the image wherever we want to save it um, but yeah um, this environment is just too noisy and there are ways to filter out um, and, and get your prompts but I'm not even gonna try and do that I'm just gonna interact with the bot directly so you can find anywhere that it, it like says you know mid journey bot um, you can right click it and just say message and there you go it takes you directly to the mid journey bot and you can talk to it separately um, keep in mind however that this is it's only a view um, people will still be able to see what you're creating in the main uh, Discord area. So let's just say again, imagine. And apparently, um, if you're a free trial user, you cannot uh, direct message to bot. Um, so you would have to upgrade to um, to utilize that feature. So. If you're, you know, using the free account, you're kind of stuck um, in the main uh, server area here. Um, all right, so that said, knowing that you can't message the bot directly, um, and I believe you could. I, I When I first started, I, I did message the bot directly. 
yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but um, that might be a new thing that they've uh, initiated. But anyways, um, when you do create your content and it is generated, um, you can go over to uh, your inbox and usually it will be on, on red and you'll just, you know, kind of have unfiltered results here again. Um, so you can just click over to mentions and these are all the the, the threads that mention um, your username. So when the bot finishes doing something, it'll have a mention of you in it and then it gives you the work and you can click on it and open it in a browser again. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys, um, For in terms of signing up for uh, MidJourney. Um, in terms of the MidJourney account, um, you just go over and you click on the, the sign in, and you're going to do authorize and say yes. And it takes you to... Um, almost like this portfolio where you can see all the work you generated so these are all the content that we just generated and it shows up here and people can come to your mid journey page and see all the work that you're creating you can create collections and um, all sorts of stuff that might be for paid accounts speaking of we can look at the this is where you can purchase the accounts um, so if you're planning to go yearly, if you're trying to pay for it yearly, then you can go for the basic plan and it's $8 per month. Um, then it goes up to 24 and then 48. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to fork out that cash um, all at once up front. So then you can do the monthly, which goes 10, 30 and 60. Um, I did choose the, the 60 plan, but I think I'm going to downgrade to um, the $30 plan. Uh, maybe not, because um, I'm looking at the things here and it's the stealth mode is only available in the $60 plan. Um, yeah, so unfortunately I'll be sticking to this <laughs> for a while at least. Um, I, I just like the stealth plan, um, where you can generate your images in private. Um, not that I'm generating anything that needs to be in private, but I, I like my privacy nonetheless. Anyways, so that is it guys. Um, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like this video, I have a lot more content coming out on uh, stock photography and utilizing these new AI tools. Um, so stay tuned.